today on Divorce Court. I'm here because I messed up and I don't want to lose my girl. He wanted to see other people and that's the reason we're here right now. Selena always wants us to do everything together, but we don't have to do everything together to show that I love her. I do way more for Jason than he does for me. I'm a private person and she talks a lot. I want to say I'll leave him if he doesn't change, but I just don't know. I mean, I'm going to make her say yes by showing her that, you know, I would never make this mistake again and that I love her. There are things that have happened in Jason and I relationship that we really need to work on, and I hope the judge can help us figure it out. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Qualina Lewis and Jason Williams. The two of you have been together for four years, exclusive for the last two. You are here asking my advice because you love each other, you want to stay together, but you're, you're in a bit of a mess. So we are going to address that. I had you take my compatibility test, and we will talk about that momentarily. But before we do, Ms. Uh, Lewis, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and how we got here today? You know, when I met Jason, we had a great connection. You know, we were together all the time, wanted mm -hmm. to be with each other. But he didn't want to be exclusive, mm -hmm. and I did. He wanted to see other people. He didn't want to put a title on it. He wanted to not make me his girlfriend, in mm -hmm. his words. But <laughs> when... How long I... did that last? <laughs> it's kind of still going a little bit right now. <laughs> sometimes he's in, sometimes he's not. So that's, not that's why we're here <laughs> Well, right Mr. Now. Williams, what is your contention with respect to that? Part of what she's saying is true, but... When did things turn so you decided to become monogamous? First of all, um, when we first met, I was just getting out of a relationship. Mm -hmm. So um, I didn't just want to just jump into another relationship. Right. So I wanted to take my time, because my last couple of relationships that I've been in, you know what I'm saying, I kind of rushed them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, not getting to know this person, you know what I'm saying, and just going ahead first. So I, I, I really liked the Quilina, and I, you know what I'm saying, I, I didn't want to rush it, so I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, I wanted mm -hmm. it to work. So I wanted it to take, no matter how long it take, two years, three years, right. you know what I'm saying, if it took five years for us to, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. fall in love, I mean, to be together, right. I wasn't ready. At what point did you decide that you would want, you at least wanted to try to be exclusive? I mean, because she, she tried hard, I mean, she was she persistent. She was pressing. Yeah. <laughs> Were you, were you pressing? She was I hard. Was, <laughs> hard. I, mean, I was pressing because I liked him a lot, and I could tell that he really liked me. She so would not I give was in. pressing. <laughs> I was. Yeah. She wouldn't give in, Yana. So, so she just wore you down. She did. She wore me down. I finally mean, I, called her your girlfriend. Yes, I finally. You know. After but the, it didn't really take, right? No. It, how not. often? Well, let me ask her first, then I'll ask yeah, you. Okay. How often have you caught him cheating on you in the last? We'll, we'll say two years ago. Yes, ma'am. Is about the exclusivity period. How often has he cheated in those two years? Um, from what I know. Yeah. From what you know. From what I know, twice. Twice. Yes, the first time, you know, we said we were going to be in a committed relationship, even before when he didn't want to be. He wanted me to be committed. You understand? That's not true. That's, that's, that's not true. He wanted me to be committed. That, I couldn't go out on dates true. even though he could. You know, he was so jealous. He was super jealous. It was both. Are, are you super jealous? I'm not super jealous, Jonna. I mean, it's everybody jealous to a certain degree. One um, time, listen. One time, I was going out with my friends. Right. Right. He didn't. He didn't mind until I came out with my dress on and I looked good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Judge, he said, you're not going anywhere looking like that, and he literally ripped oh, the dress off no, of me. No, 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 no. That's not what happened, you Literally. Literally. I'm gonna tell literally. you what happened, the truth, what happened. You know, um, we, was, we was having a problem prior to her going out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't even know she was going out. You know what I'm saying? We had a little altercation. Right. It was petty. It wasn't that major. Right, you know what I'm saying? right. I, but I know he was disagreeing or something. So she get a phone call, one of her friends called to ask if she want to go out. You know what I'm saying? She said yes, but I'm like, huh? You don't say yes to go out when, you know what I'm saying, we trying to fix this little situation or whatever. I said, so you still going out when we having a little altercation? And she was like, yeah. And she turned away. Mm -hmm. So, mean, you know what I'm saying, not meaning that not rich to, to grab, to reach for, and my finger caught her dress. You know what I'm saying? And it ripped a little bit. 
It wasn't. It was a mistake. It wasn't then. You know what I'm saying? I, M Mr. Williams, I, I admit to I, it. I, 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 let, let, let me let me say this. I know you admit that it's wrong and all that, but I'm gonna tell you how deep that is mm -hmm. and why it concerns me. How dare you walk out of a room when I'm trying to talk to you? Is what that said. That's a controlling move. And people who are controlling and, and, and get anger and want to control the actions and the leaving and the comings and goings of another person, that's deeply rooted in insecurity, and it is, it is, it, it's no bueno. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, Mr. Yes, ma Williams? Yes, ma'am. I understand what you're saying, but it wasn't. It wasn't nothing like that. It was totally unintentionally. Um, yeah, but you reached out to stop her because I, you were kinda, mad that she was leaving. Kind of turned. Well, yeah, a little jealous. That's she was looking what good that, in that was. Dress. It was kind of jealous because she was. You know what I'm saying? She was. The dress was looking pretty good. Yeah. You know. Um, but all of that is <laughs> part of the same problem, Mr. Williams. Yes, I want. I just want you to acknowledge that yes, as a concern yeah. so you can look for it in the future oh, I, yes, because you know I, you have the capacity to go there. Yes, ma'am. I saw that it, I went too far with it and immediately I, you know what I'm saying, I knew the situation was wrong. So um, I apologized to her even though I know at the moment she was mm -hmm. mad she wasn't going to yeah. accept it right now. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about, I, because this is the part that always gets me, why are you so committed to getting the commitment from him when so much has gone so wrong so soon. Yeah. When I went through his messages and seen messages from girls and him, because they were really explicit, like explicit messages, it was emotional. Now, now Mr. Williams, do you know what she's talking about? Yes, and did you have that kind of intimacy with that other woman? I want to get to the bottom of this, of this Mrs. Lewis, so, so I'm going to lay some bricks for you. Yes. He didn't want to be exclusive in the beginning. You had to nag him into being exclusive. Once he did that, he still cheated on you. While you were together, he would rip your dress. Why are you chasing that wall? I guess. <laughs> because we have so much fun together. Like, we have a lot of fun. We go fishing, we go, you know, walks on parks. We have a lot of the same interests. But Jason, he's he's not all bad. He's Let great. Me, I'm not <laughs> saying he's a bad person. I'm no, saying we have are all these good... negative things and yes, you're chasing getting committed to these negative things. Uh, so, Ms. Lewis, what would you need from him in order to clear up? The, because you cheated with... An ex, correct? No, I wouldn't say an ex. It was a friend with benefits. A friend with benefits. Uh, before her. Before you know, her, right, yes. yeah. Somebody that I knew How did you her. find out about that? Well, <laughs> I, I looked through his phone. Usually, his phone is under lock and key. He's mm -hmm. super private about his phone all the time. And this day, we had just came back from Alabama. Like, this whole year, our relationship has been the best it's ever been, really. Like, it's, it was so going things are so better great. on the upswing. Yeah. It was really great. So when I went through his messages and seen messages from girls and him, not even about sex, because they were really explicit, like, explicit messages, it was more of he cared about that one girl that he's talking about. Mm -hmm. He was calling her baby. He was saying, I missed you. So that... But, but, so it was an emotional yeah. affair. It was emotional. Now, now, Mr. Williams, do you know what she's talking about? Yes, ma'am. And you, uh, yes, you know which uh, texts and, and emails or whatever she's yes. referring to? Yes, ma'am. And did you have that kind of intimacy with that other woman? Um, through text messages. Yeah, well, but, yeah. But the feelings weren't there. I mean, that's how we talked to each other. We, I mean, my love is for her. Um, yeah, we, we, me and this other girl, we, we text each other like, good morning, hey, hey, love, how you doing? But that's how we talk to each other. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing like that. Do but, you understand, Mr. Williams, if you're gonna commit to one woman, you can't talk to other women like that? I, I do. You know what I mean? I you just can't do it. Yes, ma'am. I totally understand that. Is that something that you'd be willing to stop doing? I stopped it. She knows. She got password. I mean, she got my password to my phone. She, you know what I'm saying? She go through it anytime she wants. She told me to call the other girl and cut it loose. I called her and I cut it loose. I told her not to call me. I won't call her. I won't text her. You know what I'm saying? Don't text me. Did I, all that happen? It did. I stopped it. 
He he stopped it, but you're still really hurt. What do you need? I honestly don't. I don't know because I'm asking him what I asked him for. He gave me, you know, break it off with them. Let me see your phone, but I still don't know if I can trust him. You know, because I just started trusting him this year. So when it was good, you know, I thought we were committed. So and to, to find see, that was devastating. Was devastating. I was so shocked. Like, yeah. really, we're good, and this is what you're doing. So, yeah. You know, I took care of him. Like, when he got hurt, I'm over here cooking everything, helping him get dressed, helping him shower and everything. So it was like so much betrayal. I don't even know what he could do to make it up to me. Like, I got you. I got I'm you. still hurt. Yeah. I'm going to give you a moment, Ms. Ms. Lewis and Mr. Williams. We've been talking about you this whole time, so I'm going to give you an opportunity to tell me what your concerns are. I, I understand you believe that part of the reason maybe that you had this other woman is that you could confide in her. Yes. My understanding is you already bought a wedding dress. Yes. <laughs> that, here's the thing. I understand that despite the fact that you are dying to have a wedding, he proposed to you, but you said no. Yes. Yeah, How did that happen? So, Mr. Williams, why do you believe you can't confide in Ms. Lewis? I mean, um, I'm a private person, y'all. Right. You know, I like to keep what goes on in the house in the house. Um, if I can't, if I feel like every time I tell you something and you running out to tell your friends and your f family or whatever, everything we talk about, then I don't want to talk to you about nothing. If I feel like my business is going to be in the streets, you know what I'm saying? If I come to you and tell you, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't want nobody to know this. You got loose lips, Ms. Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, <laughs> I kind of got loose lips, but like, it's my mom, you know, we have a good relationship, so I confide in her. And things that I talk about is really common knowledge. And like think, what? Like anything he tell, like if he'll tell me things about his friends or his family, it's just common knowledge. But it's, I mean, it, it's not a secret. It's no big deal. It's no oh, big my deal. sister went, went to a wedding the other day. Yeah, it's that no, kind of information. It's no big no. deal. It's Mr. Williams, is that the kind of information even, that she's sharing, or is it no, something else? It's something more. But even if it was that right there, if I tell you, even if my sister was, you know what I'm saying, having a wedding, if I tell you, don't tell nobody, why would you go tell somebody? Because she's a woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. You know what I mean? As long as it's not a day, I mean, we talk about what's going on, what's a day, you know, all that kind of yes. stuff. It's, Where is the harm in that? It's Where? not just that. She Where? tells everything. I Personal think he business. uses an excuse because he likes to be secret. If he lives no. a secret life, that's okay. what I felt our whole relationship, even to this day. You lived a secret life. Right. And that's what he uses as an excuse. I don't tell you nothing because you tell yeah. your mom and okay. you tell the business. All right, he's secretive. Another brick. Now, I'm behind this wall trying to see you. Mm -hmm. My understanding is you already bought a wedding dress. Yeah. <laughs> That, was, didn't you? Didn't that panic you a little bit? It did, Yana. It did. Cause <laughs> I wasn't. I, I wasn't ready. She you been, see it? <laughs> she been. This Don't been from nice. the beginning. She been it's talking a about marriage. dress. <laughs> but that's how much I am. I'm, I'm a romantic. Yeah. I am. I'm a huge romantic. Yeah. So when I seen that red wedding dress, it was on sale, super cheap. So I'm like, I gotta buy it. And I was in love. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm in love. <laughs> Well, here's the here's the thing. I understand that despite the fact that you are dying to have a wedding, he proposed to you, but you said no. Yes. Yeah. How did that happen? I felt like the proposal was really disrespectful. Because? Really. Yeah. Because of the manner in it came. He proposed to would... me after <laughs> after I found out all the things that he was doing. Yeah. I saw all the text messages. Then the next day, I went back in and found some more pictures that he sent. He sent pictures of himself. No, I didn't. Girls are sending yeah, pictures to him. That's, that's not so true, So then Yana. that's when I told him, you know what? We can't work this that's out. That's not true, Yana. Yana. And I then that's you. when I he proposed you. to me, got down on one knee, proposed to me. And I'm like, really, Jason? Just last week. Mr. Williams, what is your take on yo, that? Yo, um, be honest with you, it was out of guilt. So I, you really didn't mean it. I meant it. If she would have said yes, I would have been out of there. We would I would have went and got the ring that morning. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you have a ring. 
I know. I said I would have went and got it. I would have. I would have went and bought the ring. Well, I'm going to tell you a little yes. bit about what I found on my compatibility test, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to tell you what I think might be of assistance. I, I looked at the compatibility test, and the part that always, you know, interests me the most <laughs> is uh, the part where what what's wrong with you? <laughs> I asked you to list five things that are wrong with you, and, and you I said... I put one. You put one, and what was it? I think it was... Something know. you said you weren't during the course of this proceeding. You said you... Jealousy. Oh, jealousy. You told me you weren't. <laughs> oh. but that's the one thing you wrote down that you were. Yeah, and then you read, a... left the rest blank. I'm a little jealous. Yeah. Do yeah. You, you know, whenever someone only puts down one thing or no things. We one was, of the things mm -hmm. that's wrong with you is you're not self-aware. Yeah. Because there's something Huge. wrong with everybody. Yeah, I mean, we you was kind of rushing. I can name Ooh. like seven, eight uh, things wrong with you right now. We was kind of rushing. And I just <laughs> met you. <laughs> we was kind of rushing, so yeah. I just put some down real quick. It Here's was, the thing. It was rushing. Here's the thing, Ms. Lewis. <laughs> yes. I think he wasn't ready, but I think he might be getting ready. Yeah. I think he might... I, now, now, typically, I don't turn a corner on something like this. I'd tell you to walk off. And, in fact, if I were you, I'd walk off. <laughs> no, but let me tell you something. I'd walk off and do my own thing. And if a man really loved me, he's gonna turn in my direction and follow me mm -hmm. and come get me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Work on yourself and don't lay your sights on my life is the future with this man. He could very well be. Mm -hmm. But you got to be happy within you because then it makes this not life or death. You know, I'm ready. I'm ready to settle I know, down. Yeah, I'm ready to be yeah, married. Yeah. I'm you ready can't to have my make own him children. Ready. I think he's almost ready, but you can't make him ready. But if you do, decide to stay with him, you have to let go of what happened because yeah. you'll be resentful for your entire marriage. Yeah. And you'll be looking and ducking and dodging. The fact that he has opened up his phone and he's... I think he's really turned a corner. Mm -hmm. So I think he's worth waiting on. But I wouldn't wait at his house. I wouldn't wait while I was cooking his food. I wouldn't wait while I was cleaning his clothes. Mm -hmm. I would wait somewhere where I was getting a better education and going out there and living a life, and he's gonna like, oh, no. Yeah. Look what this woman is doing. But I wouldn't wait by installing myself in his life as the most convenient appliance he's ever had. Yeah, you with right. me? Yeah, I am. Mr. Williams, I, I, th I don't think you're a bad guy. I think I think she she wore you down, and you and, and, but you love her, I do. and I think you are about to be ready. But I think she should take my advice, and once she takes my advice, you gotta you gotta get up. Get that ring and get it going on. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. But I, I control that anger. Yes, ma'am. And control that control. Because that, that's no bueno. Yes, ma'am. You with me? Yes, ma'am. This matter is adjourned. Thank, Thank you. you. The judge said that I had to let go of the cheating and everything that's happened in the past if I want this to work out. So I'm going to try to do that. I really want us to work out. The judge said I'm not ready for marriage. She said I'm, she thinks that I'm getting ready for marriage.